once the upload is accepted by the target, um, essentially the target becomes a TFTP client while the data loader goes into purely being a TFTP server. So the target uh, basically processes a load in two logical threads. So one thread is just sending the periodic status updates. So it's, if, if you think about the software on the, the target side, it would be collecting um, at a regular rate the current status information of the load operation uh, and then doing a TFTP write request to send that um, status in an LUS file to the data loader for display to the user and indicate to the data loader the operation is still going and what the progress is. Then simultaneously uh, in the target you would have a thread that is reading, that's doing TFTP read requests from the data loader to read the files of the load. Okay. So how does the target process and read the LSPs from the data loader? If we remember from several slides back, at the beginning of the upload operation, the data loader provides a list of loads in the form of an LUR file to the target. Um, that list of loads is, is basically the file name and file part number of all the LUH files corresponding to the LSPs that the operator using the data loader is trying to load to the target. From that LUR file, the target has the list of all the LSPs or header files. So the first thing that the target will do is for each LUH file or LSP that's specified, in the list of loads, it will read or do a read request for the LUH file associated with that LSP from the data loader. Once that LUH file is received, the target can crack that open and that has a list of all the individual files and file part numbers uh, that are contained in that LSP and the target will use that to spin through that list and, and sequentially do read requests for each of the data and support files that are part of the LSP. And remember also the LUH file contains the file length and the CRC for each of the load files. So once each of the files is received, the target side can check the length and check the CRC and make sure it matches what was in the load header file, which was read in, in order to ensure integrity uh, of the file and that no, nothing was corrupted during the file transfer. Uh, a little bit about that status thread and what, what's sort of possible and what's going on there. So during the upload operations, um, and this is also the same for the information and the download, the other operations that we talked about at the beginning of the presentation. Um, the target during this is sending periodic status updates um, to the TFTP server by writing to the TFTP server in the data loader. And what's indicated in these, uh, these status updates is one, the overall status of, of the load operation. So if it's in progress or aborted or there's some kind of error or if it's idle. So that's, that's indicated along with a percentage of complete. So the target side, the avionics computer, is, is calculating how, what percentage and keeping track of how what percentage of completion, how far along in the operation um, it is, and it's reporting that in these periodic status files so that the data loader can display that to the operator. For each LSP of the load, um, so, so you, you may have a load that contains multiple LSPs, the target can also provide the, in, the, in the periodic status the individual status of each of the LSPs, and that includes also a status like in progress or reported and a percentage complete, and also for each LSP, um, there's a mechanism to, for the target to indicate the estimated time left to complete that operation. One other thing that the, the status files also include um, is a, what's called an exception timer. And this is used uh, in the case that, say, the target or the avionics computer needs to, after, say, receiving some of uh, the files of an LSP, it needs to utilize those files and basically reboot or restart its software to apply and use those files. So if that has to happen, there could be a period where the, during the upload operation, the target is going to be silent and not able to send the periodic status for an extended period of time. And so that the data loader won't time out during this, um, prior to this reboot or this extended period of silence, the target can send um, a status file with an exception timer indicating to the data loader, hey, I will be silent for a minute or more or, ho or however long.